I'm gonna start all of this over from the beginning. Hi, hello? Hi, my name is Heath. I am Heath. Hi, hello? 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 I am Heath. And if you didn't know that, get out. No, F you. Stay. If you didn't know that, like and subscribe. <laughs> wow. Hello, my name is Heath Saunders, and today I want to talk to you about Scansion. What is Scansion? Scansion is the rhythm of a line of verse. The rhythm, was that what it actually literally is? The rhythm of the line of verse. Today, uh, I want to talk about Shakespeare. I am not a Shakespeare scholar, but I love Shakespeare. It all like intrinsically makes sense to me because it's intrinsically rhythmic. When we study Shakespeare, which everybody is like, Yay, Shakespeare, the god of English literature or something. Everybody like loves Shakespeare. And when actors approach Shakespeare, they approach Shakespeare's rhythm with a reverence because we all know that scansion is important when we are acting Shakespeare. You can obviously see where this is gonna go. I'm gonna talk about scansion in regards to music, that, that rhythm in music. But I do wanna talk about scansion in regards to Shakespeare and I wanna study it with one line from act three, scene three of Romeo and Juliet. Tis torture and not mercy, heaven is here where Juliet lives. And I have to open this up. And every cat and dog. Act three, scene three. Why is it saying act three, scene five? He is banished. Seriously, honestly, who cares about act three, scene five? <laughs> right, so when you study Shakespeare, you like break down the lines in ways that rhythmically make sense. Tis torture and not mercy. Heaven is here. I am a pentameter. God, you don't even care. Let, here's what it looks like. Act three, scene three. Romeo says. Tis torture and not mercy. Heaven is here where Juliet lives. And every cat and dog and little mouse Every unworthy thing lives here in heaven, and may look on her, but Romeo may not. That would be perfect rhythm, but when you act it, you have to say it in perfect rhythm, but make it seem natural. God, this monologue is so good. Do you ever like just read Shakespeare and think, wow, Shakespeare's like, genius? I don't. Why was I doing any of this? Scansion in Shakespeare is important. That's literally all I'm trying to say, is that scansion is important. Scansion the rhythm of a line, the rhythm of verse is important to reciting that verse. It is torture and not mercy. Heaven is here where Juliet lives and every cat and dog and little mouse, every unworthy thing live here in heaven and may look on her, but Romeo may not. I don't wanna actually teach you about Shakespeare. The point is in Shakespeare, the scansion matters. The rhythm of the lines matter. When you act, you have to be attentive to the rhythm of the lines. And if you're gonna break the rhythm, then you're making a choice. That's what my point here is. Music is like Shakespeare and should be treated with the same reverence that Shakespeare is treated because the rhythm is gonna tell us how the acting is supposed to happen, not the other way around. Many contemporary actors approach music like they have to make the rhythm work for their action rather than making their action work to the rhythm. This is all sort of irrelevant because the song I'm doing today is just, I'm just gonna belt. But if you watch all of these videos that I'm making, if you see them all together, what you'll see is that I'm making choices that illuminate the rhythm of the song rather than make the rhythm feel unnatural because it's actually possible to do that. And I believe that when you study a musical theater piece as an actor, you should study the scansion. This is a very short video. Today I am singing Don't Rain On My Parade from the hit Julie Stein musical and Barbara Streisand vehicle, Funny Girl. This is probably the hardest song I've had to sing, not only because it's really high, ambitious, but she also, it's just so <laughs> confusing. It just doesn't sound like you think it's supposed to sound. You know, part of the whole doing this rhythm perfect is about like giving the intentionality of the piece as, as originally written. And in this particular case, because of the nature of the written music and the nature of the way that this song has evolved in cultural consciousness, glee, <laughs> our sort of understanding of the song really influences what we interpret when we read the music. Um, which incidentally is true as Shakespeare too. <gasps> you see what I did there? It's like Shakespeare, the way we interpret Shakespeare is based on the fact that we know Shakespeare. So the way that we interpret this song is based on the fact that we know this song. <gasps> I am a dumbass. I should have thought of that before. Anyway, here's Don't Rain in My Parade. Rhythmically perfect. Someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. 
Acknowledge that these videos I move so 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 fast because I'm a twerp and also because I'm trying to keep these intro videos short but like if you have questions for what I'm saying or like leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll do my best to like get to them you know I want to like have engagement with people about these things I'm not like trying to dictate to you how this should work I'm more like being like this is the way that I think about acting musicals 